I'm doing shoes for NFL players and MLB players. It's a pretty long process, but I feel like I fell in love with the process. One of the greatest parts of customizing is that every shoe is one of one. When you look at the shoe, I just want people to recognize that I did that. Art originally like was always eye-catching to me, and I feel like that's just my form of expression, and like that's my purpose. It's something really simple, but it's clean. The way I got into art was like in seventh grade. I had this teacher, her name was Miss Reynolds, and she really showed me the basics of art and like the core, like the core basics of art, like and what it truly means more than just a brush and a canvas. After that, I mean, I kind of had like a, you know, art's my thing. I'm just gonna follow through with it because like, like this, like it just feels right. I'm seeing on the internet that people are starting to paint shoes, so like I want to join in on this because like I enjoy art and I enjoy shoes. You know, I was like, oh, I need to look good. I need to have some like cool shoes and stuff. So it kind of just bonded naturally for me because like I love shoes and I love art. The first pair of shoes I did was with the Sharpie and a, like a pair of Vans. This has to be the start to something. And then after that, I did my first pair of like actual custom shoes with paint. After that, it just kind of took off by itself by the word of mouth and social media. I had my own Instagram. Other than the, having the passion for shoes and the art, um, it came with the work ethic. And I believe I gained my work ethic from my parents. With uh, their own family owned business, I was following my parents' footsteps. They showed me hard work at such a young age that I was able to grow my own business at 20. Everything else was all white. It's a pretty long process, but I feel like I fell in love with the process. If the tape isn't right, then the paint job isn't right. If I do cleats, it's a longer process, but if it's just like a regular shoe, it's obviously like a, le a lot less. Because when prepping a cleat, you have to, it's a process. Like it really is, like you have to sand it, you have to take off the original paint. And then it's like many steps and everything comes out to like basically factory. It's very calming. I, I could do this all day. One of the greatest parts of customizing is that every shoe is one of one. When you look at the shoe, I just want people to recognize that I did that. I'm doing shoes for NFL players and MLB players. He wanted his last name on the back, his nip. Art always sparks conversation. Somebody, you walk around with a pair of custom shoes that nobody has. Oh, who did those? Like, whoa, who did those? Like, like, oh, those are so nice. And I'm like, exactly. Like, it's just, I think it's just the one of one. Like, nobody else has that. It's a great feeling that I'm able to help other people, like, like have their own imagination come to life on a pair of shoes.